Hello YouTubers. In this video I will talk about watch tables in Tia Portal. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Watch table helps to monitor your program. You can monitor or modify tags that you define. Modifying tags you can monitor the result of your program and add some corrections if the result is not the same as you expected. Watch tables like force table can be located in the watch and force tables folder. Unlike force table, that is created automatically and there can be only one of it, watch table needs to be created manually. To create a watch table you can click add new watch table in the watch and force tables folder. Another option, mark the watch and force table folder, right click on it and select add new watch table. You can also add new watch table via menu commands, mark watch and force tables folder, select insert from menu bar and click on watch table. Unlike the force table, you can create more than one watch table. For each created the watch table Tia gives it a name automatically. You can change that name to more meaningful. By opening watch table you will find out that it is very similar to the excel sheet. It has rows and columns. There are two modes of watch table. Basic and Expanded In basic mode the following columns are visible. I, identifier column. Name, the name of the inserted tag is displayed here. Address, address of the tag is displayed here. Display format, tags can be monitored in the different format which you can set here. Monitor value, the values of the tags can be monitored here depending on the display format that was set for the tag. Modify value, here you can set the value for specific tag, that needs to be modified. Yellow lightning, it's a column with check boxes. By checking them you select the tags to be modified. Comment, optional comment can be added here. Tag comment, the comment on the selected tag that was entered in other editors is visible here. This column is constant, it cannot be edited. In expanded mode 2 additional to the basic mode columns are visible. These are monitor with trigger. And modify with trigger. To switch between basic and expanded mode you can click on show hide advanced setting columns icon. Or from menu bar select online and select expanded mode checkbox. In expanded mode you can Monitor with trigger Modify with trigger Monitor peripheral inputs Modify peripheral outputs You need to take into account that monitoring peripheral inputs and controlling of peripheral outputs can result in a timeout, the CPU assumes the stop mode. As I already mentioned, you can create multiple watch tables, you can delete them if not needed. Also there is a possibility to give the more meaningful names for watch tables. Let's create a watch table. 
I will create it by clicking on the add new watch table. You can use any other technique, that is most suitable for you. The new watch table is created. Let's name it to something like my first watch table. To add a tag into the watch table you can add it by name, by address, copy and paste from tag table or data block, drag and drop from tag table or data block, and so on. I will show you various techniques. First I will add tag by its name. Select cell in column, name, and write the tag name here. Other properties of tag will be added automatically. Next I will add tag by its address. Select cell in the column, address, and write down the address of the tag. Other details will be added automatically. Next I will copy tag from tag table and paste it into the watch table. And last, I will drag and drop tag from data block onto the watch table. So, I have created watch table and I have added some tags to it. In the comment column I can assign a comment to each separate tag. This comment will stay only in the watch table. Besides that, commented lines can be inserted. There are a couple of techniques to do that. You can comment any line by adding double forward slash at the beginning of the line. Or you can select insert comment line from drop down menu by clicking right mouse button any cell in the line of the watch table. So, you could see how to create watch table and populate it with tags. For test purpose I am going to use my project with water tank filling effect. I will create a watch table with the tags. New watch table with name water tanks is created. Now I will add tags.
tags are added, let's monitor them, and modify some of them. Tags can be modified separately, or in batch. In the modify value column write the value for the tag to be modified. The check mark in the column with yellow lightning is checked, it means, that this tag will be modified on the click of the icon modify all selected values once and now. Click on icon modify all selected values once and now and selected tag gets the value that you have set in the column named modify value. The other way to modify the tag is to right click on it and select modify to. If you want to modify tags in batch, you need to deselect the tags that you do not want to modify, add the modify values to the selected tags and click on icon modify all selected values once and now. As you can see only selected tags were modified. Even if you click on the tag which is not selected and try to modify it, you will not succeed. But be aware, other selected tags will be modified. So working with watch table you need to be caution. You can monitor tags in various formats, that can be selected at the column display format. For demonstration purpose I will change some into the hexadecimal, binary, and octal. So that is that about creating and using watch tables in the TIA portal. If this video helped you please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.